Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to talk about testing for ketones. And we'll talk about it right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So for a while, we've been talking about doing a video on ketone testing. Yeah, because a lot of people have questions about it. A lot it. of people question, like, do I need to? What do I do? What's the best reading to have? How often? Yep. And recently, we've actually switched our meters. We used to use the Keto Mojo, mm -hmm. and now we use the Keto Coach. Yep. And it was actually really awesome. Before we get into, like, testing... Mm -hmm. When we were at KetoCon, that's why we decided we we're going to finally do this video. Yeah. We had an opportunity to talk to Logan Goody Delgado, Beats. who is... Goody Beats. Goody Beats. And I mean, oh my gosh, what an awesome guy. But Goody Beats is working pretty closely with this company, Keto Coach. And we wanted you guys to take a look at our little interview with him. Guys, look who I found. It's Logan, a.k.a. Goody, Goody Beats. Beats. Baby, what's up, man? Where is, this is Sunday. This is Sunday, guys. This is not Friday. This is Sunday. Everybody's drained. We've got to bring energy today. Austin, Texas, KetoCon 2019. Why aren't you here? Yes, you, no, you. I'm talking to you. Why aren't you here? Get your butt here next year. Amazing people, amazing vibes, amazing energy. I love it, man. Guys, nobody it. has more energy than Logan. <laughs> you have been such an inspiration. I know we talked a little bit on Instagram, but I mean, because like I came from being 285 pounds to 180 that pounds, and your that's transformation, crazy. that's what has like inspired me. Yes. And your family life, and yeah. how is the baby? The baby is amazing. So for uh, those of you who don't know, I just had a baby three months ago. Uh, her name's Camila. She's an angel. And then I have a 19 month old, and she's in the terrible twos. For all you parents out there, yes. And her name's Baby Lo. Um, yeah, she's, awesome. she's, she's amazing. I have two beautiful daughters. I absolutely love them. Uh, but yeah, parenting's hard. I just want to tell you, if I would have brought the camera in after she gave birth to one of our kids, I would have gotten killed. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot that you don't see from my wife behind the scene. I, I, if my wife ever does watch this, babe, thank you for putting up with me. Thank you, because, yeah, yeah, I do get in trouble for bringing the camera out a, a, a lot of times. So, Logan, here's the thing. You're wearing a Keto Coach shirt. Yes. You're in front of Keto Coach. Yes. Why are we using Keto Coach? So, wh why are we using Keto Coach? Well, number one, because it's the best. Well, okay, okay but really, um, you know, Keto Coach, uh, we're a blood ketone meter. Uh, what's very important for us is accuracy and affordability. Uh, those are the two things that mean a lot to me. So, our, our meter is very, very accurate and, again, very affordable. Uh, for the longest time, I never tested ketones because I'll be honest with you guys, it's expensive. A dollar fifty, two dollars a strip. I can't afford them. I got two no. kids. Uh, the one thing about our strips, we are fifty nine cents a piece. Fifty nine so, cents. Again, very affordable. Very, now, do very we affordable. absolutely have to test? Absolutely not. No, okay. you don't need to test. But I think it's really good to test every once in a while. So for me, I'm not one of these persons who tests every single day. I do it about two, maybe three times a week, just to see where I'm at, see if I'm on track. That's the one thing that's really unique about the ketogenic diet. It's one of the only diets out there that you can actually test to see if you're doing it correctly. So that's something that's really, really cool to me. And again, like if I try a new product, if some company sends me like, hey, we're going to see you this drink, we're going to see you this snack, okay, let me try it out. Let me see if it knocks me out of ketosis. So again, that's what we use it yes. for. We do challenges and yes. then we use it to tech on the challenges. Yeah. So guys, we've switched over to Keto Coach because it's only 59 cents a strip. Yes. So, and if you do want to get one, I'll leave a link down below and yes. you can use the code 2 Crazy Ketos, and I believe that gets you. 10% off of the meter kit, yes, right? Yes. So you'll get 10% off the meter kit and you can order them, you can get them on Amazon, you can get them directly from them. Also, but also you're gonna love I it. haven't told you this, so I'm okay. gonna tell you and all your subscribers and your followers. So we have a big challenge coming up, guys, on July 15th through the 19th. It's the five-day ketosis challenge. Can you stay in ketosis for five days? 
Pretty easy, pretty easy right? Seems pretty that's, easy. That's okay, easy. we'll prove it. All you have to do is post your ketone readings on your Facebook, your Instagram, your Snapchat, whatever social media platform you use. Post it, show your reading. Anything over 0.5 is in ketosis. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do it, see if we can do it five days in a row. It's gonna be fun. I want everybody involved. I want you involved. That's awesome. Dude, we're gonna do that. Let's do okay, it, Okay, guys, Let's do it. Logan Delgado, Goody Beats. Isn't his energy just infectious? Oh my gosh, like I knew it would be awesome getting to meet him, but it was like awesome getting to meet him. And when you're around him, you're just like, I'm gonna take life by the horns from now on, you yeah. know? I mean, after you talk to him, you feel like you can just go out and you can conquer the world, whether you're talking to him in person or watching one of his videos. And that's Serious. what I really like about him. I mean, guys, if you are not subscribed to Logan's channel, aka Goody Beats, you need to go do it. I mean, I'll put a link over Rachel's head. There is nobody that is not subscribed to his channel. Like, how are you not subscribed to his channel? Like, yeah, I mean, you, you definitely need to be subscribed to his channel because and even we're not even starstruck in being able to sit down and talk to him. Yeah. It's just that after you walk away from him or after you watch one of his videos, you're just like, we were like, we got this. We could do this. We could stay in ketosis for a Let's week. Be no good. problem, right? <laughs> like, we could build our channel. We could make a difference in this world. Yeah. He just makes you believe that you can do it. Yeah. And one of the things I really like about him, he's such a family guy. Family comes first in his life. Yeah. And that's what we always talk about, right? God first, then family. And that's how he is, except for the fact that he did bring that camera into the room after his wife gave birth. You'd be so dead. Like, we'd be one crazy keto. At least they didn't bring it in during the birth. <laughs> dead. You'd be dead. Well, let's talk a little bit about ketones. Okay, so we're going to put this off to the side. And the reason we're talking about it with that video is obviously because Logan is working closely with Keto Coach. Which made me feel good about Keto Coach when I found that out. Right. Okay, so first of all, let's answer this question. Number one. You do not have to have a ketone meter to be successful on keto. Is that a question? Well, people ask it all the time. Do I need, do I need to it? test my ketones? Right. And yeah, the answer is no. If you are eating the right foods, like you're eating keto foods, even Dr. Barry will tell you like that it's going to get you into ketosis. Just do the right thing, right? right? Now, what, the key, what a meter is going to help you do is it's going to help you make sure you're doing the right thing. Because bottom line, if you're eating, say, too many easily digestible yeah. proteins, you could be getting knocked out of, your, out of ketosis because your body is taking those proteins and turning them into glucose, Like which is something that I experience sometimes. Sometimes I eat too much protein, not enough fat. And what happens is because I'm so fatted out that I've been doing this so long mm -hmm. and because I do limit my carbohydrates so much, my body will, especially in the morning, start creating creating glucose because it does need some glucose. It just is really good at creating its own. You don't have to give it any. It can create its own. So there's a reason to there's test. There's a reason to test, but you just don't have to. I don't want people to get onto keto and think like, I have to have a meter. I have to test. No. Now, what I do want to talk about with ketone time testing is there's three kinds of ketones. You okay. have acetone, you have acetoacetate, All right. and you have beta-hydroxyabutyrate. Okay? Oh my gracious. BHBs. Okay, and I'm sorry, I'm maybe screwing up the pronunciations a little bit. It's kind of late, but, yeah. but those are the three. So when you, the biggest one that we always think about when it comes to testing when we first get on keto is pea strips. Yes, right? which are totally useless. useless. Okay, pea strips are good in the first week. Okay? Yeah, but once you get into ketosis. What's going to happen is you're going to get really frustrated because you're going to pee on that stick and it's not going no, to be it's gonna purple No, it's going to be very anymore. light. It's going to be light because the pee strips are only really testing for one kind of ketone. They're testing for the acetone. Yeah. Okay. And what's happening is when you're testing for that, that your body doesn't really use that. The ketones that your body is really using is the BHBs. That's why you see all of these BHB supplements and everything. That's what your body is really going to use. Mm -hmm. The only way to test for those blood. is with the blood meter. So if you don't like pricking your finger, right? sorry. So what I will always suggest to people, like if you want to buy those strips, buy them for the first week just to see if you've gotten yourself into ketosis, if you've gotten past that stage. Then, then don't bother with them anymore. Because they're kind of expensive. They're too. a little expensive. And then what's going to happen is, I mean, they rely on like how hydrated you are. Drink a lot of water, they're lighter in color. Yeah. Don't drink enough water, they're darker in color. So you're going to get a lot of false and negative you know, readings. With well, that. and you know what? I used to use them when I wasn't doing the right thing to kind of check and be like, oh, did I get away with it? Right. And no, you're not getting away with it. And you're only hurting yourself. So like... 
Don't bother with the peace. And strips. I remember when you first started, you would get really frustrated because probably about a month in, you were using the peace strips, right? You yes. were testing constantly mm-hmm. the first time you started. Right. You were testing constantly. And they were turning purple for the first week or two. Yeah. And then as you got more fat adapted, all of a sudden they were like a very light purple. And you're like, oh my gosh, what am I doing wrong? And I'm like, there's nothing. It's just that your body's starting to be able to utilize those ketones. Yeah. All those P-strips are doing is measuring what's not being used by your body and your body is flushing out. Now, Hence the acetone. for me, I kind of look at it as like more of like a pass-fail class, right? right. Like if... if Point five or higher, I'm like happy. Right. You know, like I'm in ketosis. Like right. boom. I don't need to be like a forty seven point three in order to feel like, yeah, I'm doing the right thing. Yeah. Now the other kind of testing that people do is the breath testing. Yeah, we tried that. And the breath testing is the same thing. It's not it, it's not the testing for your BHB, so it's not as accurate. Yeah. The only accurate way to test for your ketones is going to be with the blood meter. And even that, it's not a 100% accuracy. It's just the most accurate way that we have to be able to measure at home. Yeah. Okay. But the more fat adapted you are, the more it goes down. The more, like, less fat that you have, Mm -hmm. the more it can go down. It's usually higher in women than men. Yeah. You know, so there's a lot of, like, factors in it. But now let's talk about the keto coach. Because, see, what we've been doing for all these years is... We were using this one. This is what we were using, the Keto, Keto Mojo. Mojo. One of the biggest ones out there. I mean, you even saw in our lanyards, while we were interviewing Goody Beats in front right. of the Keto Coach thing, yeah. our lanyards are have say Keto uh, Mojo on it because Keto they, Mojo was one of the sponsors. Well, and they've been kind of the only game in town. Right. Well, when I first got started in Keto, there was also something called the Precision Extra. But that was super expensive. Yeah, those strips were like $3.50. So You got to pay an electric bill, yo. Yeah. But now with the Keto Mojo came along and the strips were a dollar a piece. And you're like, okay, three fifty a dollar. Makes yeah. it like in your head. You're like, wow, I'm getting a deal. I can afford to test now. But it's still not super sustainable because there's two of us. Right. And then if we would be on a challenge or something and you'd have to do it multiple times a week. Right. Now I mean, it's really expensive. When we do a challenge, I mean, it's like, oh my gosh, like it's costing us a fortune to do this challenge because we're spending like $30 in test strips. Yeah, for real. I mean, and I'd have to go order another bottle. And so we don't test every day. I would say we probably test our blood maybe once a week, twice a week. Just to, uh, if we're doing a challenge, it's obviously more, more often, thin. but usually only once a week if we're lucky. And it's really like, I'm not feeling great. I want to see where I'm at. Or like, hey, I just had like a bad week. How far off am I? Because let's be honest, that's a lot of what we're trying to test right. is saying like, where am I at? Like how close am I back to the starting line? Right. You know, and where am I going to go moving forward? So yeah, I mean, but I like testing this honestly. Ladies, if you're like me and you want to get on the scale every single morning and you're like, you know, trying to weigh yourself, test your ketones instead. I'm, I'm going to tell you that. I, I, that is perfect because I was going to say, throw out the scale and get yourself a ketone meter. If you need something, I want to see if I'm doing it right. Yeah. Get yourself a ketone meter and start testing it. Now, obviously, because the higher the number up. Now, again, I want to make this clear before I even get into this. It doesn't matter if it's a 0.5 or if it's a 2.5. In ketosis is in ketosis. There is no evidence, there is no study that shows that a higher ketosis number Mm -hmm. is going to burn more fat. What the higher number means is you have more ketones in your body. Yeah. It doesn't mean that you're burning more fat, that you're losing more fat. It just means there's more ketones that your body isn't using, which is one of the reasons why I generally have a lower number. Yeah, than I do. Because my body is really good at utilizing ketones and Mm -hmm. because our body is amazing and has this ability to be able to constantly change itself. It's like, I know how many ketones I need to produce for Joe to operate on his day. So that's how many ketones I'm going to make. He just knows you. Yeah. My body knows me. So, I mean, what you want to do is test instead of getting on the scale, scale, test. I'm in ketosis. And then when it says you're in ketosis, keep going. You're doing the right thing. Just keep going. Like, this is life. So you don't stop. You know, so you're doing the right thing. Just keep on with that momentum and don't stress about what you see on the scale because it's working. Right. Okay, so let's talk about the difference why we switched over. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first of all, we switched over. Now, obviously, I've got the box here because I don't throw boxes out for some reason. I don't know why. 
But this is what we get. Obviously, it comes all nicely packaged when you get it. Yeah, it's hot. But it does come with an instruction manual. Mm -hmm. And what happened? Did I break this? I, I Did you I just, break my zipper? I think I just broke the zipper. Nice. Okay, so it comes with this little pouch. Here's the meter that you get with the Keto Coach. It comes with a little lancet thing. It's and then it comes stuff. with 10 of the little needles that you put into the top. And it comes with 10 test straps. And this meter, I believe, is $49.95. We'll leave a link down below. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do have a coupon code for this. Yeah. And the coupon code is 2 Crazy Ketos, and it will get you 10% off of your meter kit. It can't, unfortunately, get you 10% off of your this, test strip. Right. But it will get you off get of you the started. kit. And then you can buy, where are they? The strips here. Mm -hmm. Okay. What I like about this is because we do, sorry, I'm itchy. We do test, like, especially with challenges, like we have the Keto Chow Challenge coming up. I can't wait. We're going to test the Keto Chow Challenge probably twice a day. Right. At least once a day, every day for the week. Just to see where we're at. Just to see where we're at. And I've been testing a little bit this week because we've been experimenting just seeing, like, which flavors. Because Chris was like, tell me what flavors you like. And so we've been having one shake each a day to see, like, what flavors they are. And I've been amazed because, uh, amazingly, doing one of those shakes is giving me the perfect amount of fat and stuff that I eat. I'm getting to eat five tablespoons of butter in a shake. I mean, can't complain. That's right? not going to make you sad. And it's been nice to see, like, I haven't been knocked out, of, knocked out of ketosis. It's actually improved my numbers because it's forcing me to have one of my meals, perfect macros. Yeah. Right? So it's been good. Um, so, but we because we're doing that, we test this way. These strips are 59 cents if you sign up for the subscription. So that's kind of hard to ignore. So that's compare like, that to just yeah, about half the price. A dollar or 59 cents. Now you're going to go on their website and you're going to see it says $34 for 50 strips, which is actually 70 cents. Mm -hmm. The 59 cents comes when you do a subscribe and save for the strips. So I just want everybody to, to, to know that because at first I was looking at it like, that's not 59 cents, that's 70 cents. But when you do the subscribe and save, mm -hmm. it drops to 59 cents. But their subscribe and save is really awesome. You can choose how often you want. You can say, I'm not going to test every day. I only want it once every three months, every four months, whatever it is. You can change it. I like it. that. You can customize it. And like we just had them and I didn't need any strips because again, we don't test super often, like maybe once a week or whatever. Right. And um, it sent me a thing about a week or so before I was going to renew my subscription. And it was like, do you still need them? And I'm like, nope. And they're like, okay, we're going to delay you another month. So they even give that. you that little reminder thing. So I thought that was really nice. Class I you too. What's happening? The difference between the two, why we're using this one. See, this is how the Keto Mojo ones come. And again, there's nothing wrong with this meter. No. We've been using it. Yep. Okay. But the strips come like this. They come like in a bottle like this. Well, look, I just I'm, grabbed it. I'm and now I'm contaminating every, it. Yeah. And that, what if that's my strip right that so you're, you're touching some stuff on it and you also have to always never lose this little coating strip because you always have to code your bottle to the machine okay with this one you don't have to do that i'm going to open up a brand new box this box just came look it's still got the seal on the back i love that okay look at how these strips come individually wrapped Flush so with strips. so cheaper and each one is individually wrapped. So we don't have to worry about my dirty fingers touching where I'm testing or being stored in a bottle. One time, um, Joe went and was like smoking some meat outside and just like rubbed his face. And I guess you had touched like the meat and then touched the strip and it was like way off reading yeah. because it got contaminated. Right. And then we were worried about the whole rest of the bottle. Yeah. Now the last thing about the difference between the two of them I find, because I've done them both, I've tested them side by side, I find that the Keto Coach is much more consistent. Yeah. I also find the Keto Mojo gives you higher numbers. Now, I don't know what's up with that. You know, hey, we all want to see higher numbers. Yeah. You know, but I do find that this one tends to give me a little bit higher of a number. Which so now is kind of freaking I don't know out. which one's more accurate. I'm going to kind of lean towards the Keto Coach. Yeah. And the reason I'm going to lead towards the Keto Coach being more accurate and maybe these numbers not being as good is because I can test three times within five minutes with the Keto Mojo and get three different results. Now that was very alarming. Whereas and you've done the same thing, yes. right? You've had it where you tested it and it was like a 0. 0.4 and then you tested it like right out. I'm like, that can't be right. And tested right after it was like it's a 1.6. Then it was a 1.1. Whereas this was consistent all the time. And I actually did that. I tested just recently. I wasted so much money doing this. I know. But last week, I tested with the Keto Mojo because my numbers were low and I didn't like what was going on. I tested with the Keto Mojo five times. 
five times it's $5. just sitting down. Test, 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 test. I got five different results. I tested with the keto coach five times, wasted five strips. Every one of them had the same exact number. And it was low. It was a 0.4. And in between, he tested me to see if it was just like everybody gets I thought the it same was number. Me. I thought it was the meter. And it wasn't. It was I, my numbers was di- were different. Yep. And, but yours were consistent. Right. And so those are the three reasons we've switched over to the Keto Coach. And we have been affiliated to this company. Yeah. You know, so it's, again, we've been using it. If that's the only thing you can get. You know, I you know get ahead. I think it's good to have a meter, but it's not a requirement. No, and the it's reason not. I think it's good is just to see what you know. What does it do to your body? Yeah. Okay. I will say this: if you can't afford a ketone meter, mm-hmm. the one thing I would absolutely highly suggest you get is a glucose meter. Oh yeah, yeah, and those are very inexpensive. You we can got get them at Walmart for like eight Walmart, bucks. Walmart, yeah. And, and the test strips are like you know anywhere between ten cents, and you can get them as low as five cents if you buy them in bulk. Yeah, you know up to like fifteen cents. But a glucose meter is going to give you immediate results. Yeah, like you're going to test your ketones. It's going to take a couple of hours to really see what does it do to you. Glucose, you can see a result within 20, 30 minutes. Was that bad for me? Oh, yeah. It was bad yes, for me. Yes, it was. Me. I mean, even though a lot of times we know, like, right. is this little Debbie snack cake going to affect my sugar levels? Yes. Right. Oh, that was one more. Well, I'm thinking about glucose, and mm-hmm. I didn't mean to make this a long video. This meter tests for glucose as well. You could buy glucose test strips and ketone test strips. Oh, okay. This meter does not. He doesn't, he cannot, this one doesn't have glucose test strips. And I see a lot of people online going, oh, well, you need to be able to test for glucose. Okay. He said they're working on it. They're, they're working on some prototypes on it. Guys, you don't need your meter to test both. I don't use this meter, the Keto Mojo, to test my glucose. You know why? Mm -hmm. The strips for the, the glucose strips for the Keto Mojo are 30 cents. I can go, which is not bad. No, but, but when you, you can, can go buy the Walmart yeah. one for eight dollars for the meter, and the strips are ten cents. So why would I ever use that? So you don't need your key. To, so what? You have two little meters. Look how small this thing is. You right. Just, you can actually fit both, both of meters them in there. I can fit both of these meters in one pouch. Yeah. So you don't need, you know, have two meters. Save some money, especially if you're gonna like. I would test your glucose every day if you can. I mean, I have. Yeah. Okay, so last thing to close this out, are we going to participate in the Goody Beats Challenge? Heck yes, we are. Okay, so are you guys going to participate? Let us know down in the comments section. Are you going to participate? What we're going to do, starting on July 15th, mm-hmm. all you have to do is post online. We will get the, we will find out exactly where with what the hashtag is when we get closer to that day. Maybe the day before, we'll post a video about it. Mm-hmm. And we're going to post up our ketone meetings. Now, here's what I want to make very important today. Do not buy a meter to, to do this, this. challenge. No. If you have a meter or if you've been thinking about getting a meter, awesome. I don't want anybody going out and buying a meter because I've got to participate in this challenge no, with Joe you, and Rachel. No, you do not. No, you do not. So if you've got a meter, participate. Let's show that we can stay in ketosis for one week, and, 0.5 and above. And if you don't have a meter, just keep eating the right foods and right. cheer us on. And if you are thinking about getting a meter, this is the one that we would recommend. Yepers. Okay. So that is our video for today. If you like what you saw, do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon in that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.